What's up everybody, I'm Albie13. Okay, I wanted to come at you with this video. What we're talking about today is Brock 3. And so, Brock 2 was recently reintroduced and has impressed a lot of people. So I want to talk about four points of Grok 3, why it's the future. And point number one is Tesla cars. Tesla is probably going to be integrating AI into their car. When you're sitting in the car behind the wheel, you're going to be talking to a advanced AI. Point number two is X.com. The everything app, as Elon Musk likes to call it, uh, everything includes AI, and subscribers are taking really well to it. They like it, they feel like there's value, and they feel like it's worth paying partly for the subscription that you get on x.com. Uh, so that's, that's another point. Point number three is SpaceX. Um, it's important to have space research, development, uh, futurism with space and so what the astronauts and travelers are gonna need is a high quality AI that can answer their questions at any time help them with anything that they need without any lag or any communication errors or issues or clarity um, if if they can't even speak to them to other people there for whatever reason they can always rely on an AI uh, for any anything and that includes when you're in space maybe psychological so um the, the point about spacex is that they're planning to use these rockets that are going to go to mars and you have a travel time going to mars during that it's part of the mission so they might need ai there but more importantly any colony that we might establish definitely will have as they call the internet in a box um ai and then finally, the fourth point is Tesla's Optimus robot. As we see, Tesla's robot Optimus walks around and does obstacle avoidance and is uh, able to be programmed where it can follow what humans do with these special machines that translate that, translates that into the robot movement. But going further, what we're seeing is embodied AI where the AI is in the robot. So you could expect that Optimus robot is going to accept voice commands and speak to you. It might even say, you know, I need to get by. Can I get by? And that's just a very human thing, but that's going to be a robot thing because robots will be in our space and then they will always wait for us infinitely. So they have to let you know that they're there. So they need to talk to you for many, many, many reasons. And then you're going to have questions to the robot. And basically, it's like ask anything to the robot because it has the entire internet on it, right? So those are my points. Uh, so let's come right back around to about Grok. Basically, they've been, um, you know, advertising it and saying why Grok is so great with programming and ask it whatever you want. And it knows all the information on X, so it knows what's happening up to date. and. So that's saying stay informed and then ultimately get creative, generate art, pictures. People love that. They, they've been with that. But anyway, going back to the car, you know, you talk about the Tesla, the most advanced cars. They have to continue to stay advanced. Drivers currently talk to the car and tell it to do things like change the temperature or the radio or what have you. And it does that. Generally, it just accepts voice commands and does something in a programmed nature not very sophisticated, can't take a string of commands, can't really interpret things, probably. If you just say, I'm so cold, you know, Grok can say, wow, my driver is not comfortable. I can either change the temperature or I can ask the driver, would you like me to lower the temperature? And, you know, it would probably be pretty significant if you're that cold. So, um, and there could be some intelligent automatic controlling based on the temperature range that the driver likes. So some people prefer a hotter climate and some people prefer a colder climate. And none of that is ever handled by 
automatic systems. You know, automatic climate control, it's, there's various ways that it's intelligent. But, and that's just one aspect. So basically what I'm saying is these vehicles, and definitely when you get into the high-end cars, you know, they're talking about putting a Roadster two-door ultimate sports car, which starts to get into the luxury element, the supercar, the ultra car. Uh, so, and then of course it's a selling point across the models, right? Grok 3 enabled, um, you know, maybe there's a subscription, just like, uh, autonomous driving, you know, and of course, you know, you talk to it and tell it, well, I need a gas station or I want to get something to eat. And then it says, what would you like to eat? And you just say, figure out based on my preferences, right? Just, you know, just take me some, somewhere cheap, right? Then Croc is going to go on the internet and say, well, there's a, you know, there's a uh, Taco Bell, very close, and that's cheaper than eating at a luxury restaurant. So we'll, 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 we'll recommend that and put that into navigation as a stopping point and all that kind of thing. This is like really um, seamless and integrated and... It's like there's a person there when there isn't. So they have solved the problem of hiring a concierge. You don't need to have a person at home base with a little microphone. How can I help you? And then they send stuff to your car. So this is the future. Uh, obviously, you're going to have millions of cars on the road, millions of the Grok AI functioning and helping each user at the same time without worry about cloud-based computing and having to have internet access and all that stuff. You can be somewhere remote and you can be extremely bored. And let's face it, if you ever drive a lot, you get bored and you people will be able to talk to Grok if they want. They can play a game, I spy, um, you know, a trivia game. Give me a trivia game. I'm, I'm here in Colorado. I want to know, I want a trivia game about Colorado. Boom, makes it on the spot. So AI is just such a futuristic thing, right? And so I see that. I see that. And um, especially you see a more expensive vehicle like the Cybertruck, um, the special ones and all that stuff. They want to see that. Autonomous driving, AI. So next one, SpaceX. Wait, was that my order? <laughs> one second. Where was I? So we talked about Tesla. We talked about X.com. Let's talk a little bit about X.com as a platform and having Grok, okay? So, and I can also look at Grok's thing. And basically, they were saying how um, Grok performs very well. Grok 2 and Grok 3 is going to be doing even better. They're already training Grok 3 right now. So, this is very much important priority. It's been paid for. They have the servers running and the personnel working on it. And so they actually mentioned direct competitors, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, ChatGPT4 Turbo, the big flagship, what, what they call frontier models. So they're not aiming for middle. They're aiming for the top tier. And that's these are the takeaways for you, right? Uh, so we look at... Yeah, let's go right into SpaceX. Um, they already are saying, you know, we're we're launching all these advanced uh, uh, missions that that is, you know, to the space station, and we have these pods, and we have plans to uh, fuel rockets in space. And what about a colony? You know, we can start building somewhere, right? So they have all these needs, desires, missions that. They are proving success, consistency. What they're doing is they have a lot of uh, missions that are successful. And so it allows them to position themselves as you got to pay this to get it done. Obviously, they want to bring the cost down. They need to make their money. They need to be a successful company. They're going to be able to compete very well. And at the same time, so... Anyway, getting to the technology aspect of it. There's no talk about any of this stuff. But you need to be able to give the people going into space, living in space, 
and if you're on another moon or planet, you need to have AI because humans always have questions for various reasons. If you've ever been very tired and you just can't think straight, you know how to do everything, but you can't even think about the steps. Just let the AI explain it to you or show it to you on a screen so that you can follow along and say, of course, I need to check the oxygen. And then that's the procedure. No, in the old days, if you watch the old movie about them going to space, they have these books that they had to turn the pages and find the things. As us, now we have a screen, but instead of them trying to find the information on the screen, you type it in, type in any query, or use voice or gestures. Think about that. Gesture to what you need information on. So that's the advanced concepts that I'm talking about. Um, finally, we get to Tesla's Optimus robot. Let's see what we have here. This is Tesla's stuff. And, you know, they have about their, they have this general stuff about the technology and, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then we have an old video, granted, the word is that they're working on Optimus Gen 3. Generation 3, we're on 2, and we're going to 3, and so everything is going to get better. The vision gets better, the f walking speed gets better, um, improvements, and the hands, for example, was the last one. More range of motion, more ability to flex the hands, which is already good, but it's better now. And so we're going to, there. when they release a generation, there's a slew of things that they do. And a lot of it is, it just got better and you, it's subtle, but they want to tell you what they're doing to make the robot better. So, um, Optimus is always the, the robot that, you know, is kind of like the, the standard that pe that companies will, will, should want to make, I guess. And, uh, uh, if you believe the story, it's true that. Uh, uh, Tesla, which is the company that is doing the robot, it's a little unusual to me because they're the car company, but they took the robot and presented it. They did show it in a glass case in China. Supposedly, they're not worried about showing the robot to the world, including um, Asia, because they uh, are making Gen 3, which is like all new and all better and you know, so they're basically showing the older model, you know. Um, so that would be, <laughs> they're kind of equating it there because they're saying, all right, well, here's pre-gen. Here's gen one. It's like you're showing them gen one when they're on gen two. But it's like they're showing you gen two when they're on gen three, right? That's the idea. But ultimately, Grok 3 on board you know, projecting a voice, a uh, voice and gestures. Don't forget the gestures part. You know, you tell the robot, pick this up and you're pointing at an object and it should be able to walk over, pick it up, follow instructions, go put it away in the room. And then it, it goes to the room and puts it away. So this is the kind of level that we're striving for because that's the sci-fi experience that um will be you know as we get <laughs> obviously we we need to have the robots at home they they want to um have those advanced things but uh we need to start getting the robots cheap and in the home and in small businesses and large businesses of course they're already in warehouses and uh, manufacturing so what we want to see is in hospitality, uh, restaurants and hotels and them carrying boxes and all this kind of stuff so that they, we can get normalized to it and people will realize this, they'll know its capabilities and then they'll naturally want the next thing, you know, oh, you know, I can tell it to do these things, but 
the next one's going to do these other things. You know, we have to have that because we cannot always be trying to have the robot do everything from from the first public release, which isn't we're not even there yet. But, you know, stuff moves fast. So I hope you like this. Uh, hit a like if you like, dislike if you dislike, comment. Would love it if you could. Uh, most people who watch everyone's videos are not subscribed. So if that's you, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand so I can monetize. And that way, uh, makes sense for you to make the videos, okay? Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.